Hey guys, I'm really excited about this. I'm going for a driver fitting. It's been the most troublesome club in my bag and I've had the same driver for about five to six years now. I've never been a good driver of the golf ball, so I'm quite looking forward to this. I want to go for a driver fitting. It's going to get me the right head. That sounded wrong. I want to go for the right driver fitting that will give me the correct golf club head and the correct shaft. So let's get stuck. Entrance right there, EP Golf Studios. Looking forward to this. Let's go in. Tell you, golf takes me everywhere. Here we go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful screen with the quad GC3 quad in there. Say hi, Ross. Hi. <laughs> That's Ross the man. He owns the gaff. Look at them shafts. Perfectly lined up. This is like. I'm like a kid in a chocolate factory now, so let's <laughs> so Most of that's good demo stuff that I need to actually build as well. I just haven't got around to building yet. So um, do you build the clubs back here yourself or? So we do um, a lot of like custom build woods and stuff. Um, mm. Irons, we, we can, uh, because we're so new, we don't yet have component accounts. So I've done a few times where I buy a set and I'll pull them apart and just rebuild them to custom specs. Um, but a lot, of this, a lot of the time it's, um, you know, OEMs are pretty good with iron shafts. Uh, so they have a good range. Yeah, it's pretty much all um, demo stuff I still need to build. <laughs> what brands do you work with? Uh, so I've got Cobra, TaylorMade, uh, Callaway, and Titleist at the moment. Uh, and Mizuno actually, just, uh, just got some Mizuno stuff in. Oh, sweet. I opened an account with PXG, so I'm still waiting for some, some stuff to come in PXG as well. Um, so yeah, kind of slowly growing. Ah, brilliant then. Um, how long have you been open for then? Three, we've been trading for about three and a half months. So really new. <laughs> Brand new. Would, why would you advise people to come for a fitting? Because a lot of people come in with like preconceived notions and pretty much everyone's surprised by what they end up with. They'll come in and be like, I really like the look of this. By the end, it's generally you'd be surprised. I mean, we I'm very our sessions are quite long and I'm very I want it to be an experience, not just a, you need this, that's yeah. it. So I'll get you hitting all the heads, we'll try different shafts, different profiles, different weights, everything. This is a really good experience, and by the end of it, you know exactly what's right for you. So basically, you can hit the ball like Bryson once you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that one, I can't guarantee that, but yeah, we can certainly, uh, certainly be getting you hitting it a bit better. All right, no worries. Cheers, mate. Cool. Let's go. So that's a pretty stereotypical miss. That is, isn't it? Now, I assume that, I think that face was open. Yes, definitely open. Yep. So that's one of my greatest worries. I know that face was yep. open. So par, pretty good. 160 now. Yep. Pretty neutral. Yeah, you're right. Face open, marginally mild, slightly heel strike as well, which yep. I'll look out for, yeah. That's fine. And that's nine degrees sub zero head, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 20, I guess 2300, that's probably not so much spin, it's more the launch, it's just you hit so high. I mean, that's what's the peak height of that? 150 feet in the air. That's quite high, isn't it? It's very high, yeah. Is that more technique or is that that's technique is not more necessarily the problem? Yes, that's more your angle of attack. You hit up on it quite a lot. Yeah. How does it feel to pick up how the weight would feel. Feels better. What's the weight on this? The um it's a swing weight, swing weight's in the back. So the shaft weight. So our shaft weight says 60x, so I think like raw weight's like 67 or something, but yeah. That's extra strip, isn't it? Yes, yeah. extra, extra strip, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. 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 Face is open now, isn't it?
it open again? Marginally. Again, that's why you saw a very small fade. I mean, it started pretty straight, didn't it, really? And just had 200 revs of right spin on it. It's hardly anything. That strike was great. It's a straightaway 15 launch and 24 spin. Borderline 25 spin certainly better. Certainly a bit lower. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. You're ready to fly, rolling down to 300. Oh, in the rough though, mate. It's no good. There you go. Like, the strike was pretty decent. Slightly high heel, but good. 14 launch, 2000 spin. That's lovely. Like that. High heel, is it? Marginally. It, it always looks a little bit worse on that graphic than it actually is, to be fair. Look at that delivery. That's about as. That's what you want, isn't it? About as neutral as you're ever going to swing a curve. Um, but yeah, 14 launch, 2000 spin. So, really, we expect to see a tiny bit more of a spin than you could get aside, to be honest. And these are both stock shaft moves that I love with that. That's the 4 af on 6 x Smallest draw you could possibly ever hit. <laughs> I really like. Because if you can, not, I'm already fidgeting so much. Right. Okay, it's not good. And before I, but I want to hit. I want to. I want to make my mind up that you're going to. Mentally, in my hands, it's a good golf club. People would love it, but for me, the sim too. There's just something about the head I, I struggle with. That's nice. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank 
still too hot. Oh wow! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Boom. And then down there, and it definitely straight away has been the best kind of results so far today, hasn't it? A 164 ball speed. Yes! Oh yes! That's it! Get him! You want to carry it? That's it! That is the one. How was that? Now I'm in the one one business. 13 knots, 21 50 speed. Ah, uh, super neutral, face is square, 162 ball speed, efficiency through the roof. 312 total for six yards offline. That is beautiful.